This video has been classified by the ABC as PG. For some people, drugs are ordinary consumer products, something to buy for the weekend. So why not subject them to the same scrutiny as other purchases? Now, we're not advocating drug taking, but for those of you who do use drugs, if you've never considered the ethics of it all, here's some food for thought. What would happen if you took four high-profile recreational drugs and asked questions like, what's the environmental impact? How are workers who grow and supply it treated? And where does the money end up? Let's find out first. Marijuana, Australia's favourite illegal drug. One Ethical Plus, if you choose it, you're supporting local industry. The bulk is grown locally, which keeps the carbon miles low. That said, since the business is unregulated, cannabis farmers can use cheap, dangerous chemicals off limits to regular farmers. The majority of Australian pot is hydroponic, grown indoors. That means less damage to bushland, but more greenhouse gas emissions thanks to round-the-clock sun lamps. And where does your money go? Weed has a hefty profit margin, selling for 1,400% more than it costs to produce, which attracts organised crime financed by you with every gram you buy. That said, weed isn't being produced in sweatshops or destroying the Amazon. So next to a lot of common big brand products, cannabis holds its own ethically. Now to ecstasy. The little pills are mostly made in first world countries, then shipped here. So ecstasy production doesn't exploit third world labour. Transporting it does rack up carbon miles though. The other environmental concern is one of its key ingredients, safferol oil from the sassafras tree. According to Flora and Fauna International, huge areas of Cambodian rainforest have been cleared for sassafras growing, and the oil production process poisons the country's waterways, killing wildlife. Our third drug, heroin, comes from Southeast Asia and the Golden Triangle, where forests are also being cleared, this time to plant poppies. In northern Thailand, up to 6 million hectares of trees have been cut down in the past 20 years. If you're genuinely green, heroin isn't for you. But unlike many drugs, heroin arguably has some surprising ethical positives. Burma is where most Asian heroin comes from. Rebels farm it there to support their fight for independence against the Burmese junta. You might also help lift peasants out of poverty. A gram of heroin retails for about $300 here. Opium farmers receive $3.15 of that. Not much, but around 10 times more than they'd make from any other crop. So in the end, heroin could almost be fair trade certified. But let's not forget, most of the money still ends up with organised crime here. Very few Australians do smack, though. About 10 times as many use cocaine. Here's an uncomfortable truth. For every gram you buy, 43 square feet of Colombian rainforest is destroyed. So it's no use riding your bike to work if you're going to rack up lines on the weekend. Cocaine farmers are usually forced into the business by rebel groups or corrupt government forces. Working conditions are risky at best. Cocaine money contributes to the destabilization of most of Central America. More than 4.6 million people have been driven from their homes by the drug war in Colombia since 1985. And since 2006, 17,000 people have been killed in the Mexican drug wars. More than 2,000 have been murdered this year alone, and it's only March. Every drug you buy affects someone else. According to our survey, only 48% of Australian users consider the impact of their purchases on the people who grow, produce and supply drugs. For the rest of you, something to think about. Powder on your nostril, blood on your hands.